Today, we are going to read Little Colt's Palm Sunday by Michelle Medlock Adams. The young colt snuggled in the hay. He fidgeted about. Please go to sleep, his mama said, and then she kissed his snout. But mama, whispered little colt, I'm just not sleepy now. Shh, shh, be quiet, mama said. You'll wake up Mrs. Cow. Will you tell me a story, mom? I promise to be still. Okay, the mama donkey said. For you, my son, I will. While donkeys live quiet, humble lives, sometimes we do great things. In fact, your great, great grandfather once helped the king of kings. He did? But how? asked little Colt. His eyes became wide open. He carried Mary, Mama said, and Jesus was inside. Inside? asked Colt. What do you mean? The mama donkey smiled. Let me explain, she softly spoke. See, Mary was with child, and your great great grandpa carried them. With every step, he knew that someday Mary's baby boy would have great things to do. And he was absolutely right. The mother donkey said that Jesus does great miracles and he has raised men from the dead. Oh, mama, whispered little Colt, I want to meet this man. Then mother donkey nuzzled him. Maybe someday you can, but now you need to go to sleep. You promised little one. Okay, mama, the little donkey said. But sleeping is no fun. The morning sun awakened them. It gently warmed the hay. Come on, son, Mama Donkey urged. We've got to work today. Then suddenly their owner came and led them into town. He tied them up and softly spoke. I won't be long. Don't frown. I've never been to town, said the colt. Why do you think we're here? I'm not sure, Mama Donkey said, but soon it would become clear. Just then, two men untied the colt. The colt began to bray. Help, Mama, cried little colt. They're leading me away. But strangely, Mama wasn't scared. Somehow the donkey knew that little colt would be all right. He had a job to do. Excuse me, sirs, the owner said. Don't lead my colt away. The two men stopped and smiled and said, the Lord needs him today. We promise to return your colt, assured the two nice men. Okay, the owner softly said, do well, my little friend. The little colt walked with the men, unsure of everything, and then he met Jesus the Christ, the king of every king. So this is he, thought little colt. I feel like I should bow. If only mom were here with me, then she could teach me how. Jesus the Christ stroked little colt. He had a gentle touch. He's pleased with me, thought little Colt. I like him very much. And then the men took off their coats and put the Colt near them. They placed their coats upon his back and said, Jesus, sit here. While little Colt was glad to help, he had a big concern. He'd never given any rides. He hoped that he could learn. The Lord God climbed atop the colt. The colt stood firm and still. Though he was young, he understood the need to do God's will. Then suddenly a crowd appeared. They praised the Lord and said, Hosanna in the highest. 
Then everyone bowed their head. The people tore off palm branches. Some waved them in the air. Still others placed them in the road and the little colt stepped there. The palms felt soft beneath his hooves, much softer than the road. The, these branches feel quite cool, thought Colt, and I bear a sacred load. The crowd cheered wildly with great joy. The colt was filled with pride. He knew that he'd been born for this, to give Jesus a ride. As they continued into town, the whole world seemed to cheer, and Mother Donkey's heart was full. She held each moment dear. Then Jesus climbed down off the colt. His work had just begun, but little colt had finished his. His mission now was done. As the little colt watched Jesus leave, his heart beat strong and fast. That ride was great, thought little colt. If only it could last. His insides were all fuzzy warm. He'd never felt this way. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his special day. He wondered if great-great-grandpa had felt the same inside. Nothing compares, thought little colt, to giving God a ride. Just then the owner saw his colt. Come home now, little one. So little colt began toward home. His new life had begun. This is the end of Little Colt's Palm Sunday. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you get to go celebrate our Heavenly Father singing Hosanna to his name. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.